Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's uh, solve this word problem. It says that three fourths of a kilogram of candies and six sevenths of a kilogram of cookies are shared equally among three children. What is the total mass of candies and cookies that each child gets? Give your answer as a decimal rounded off two decimal places. All right, so here what we have to do is deal with fractions and decimals. All right, first things first, let's see what we've got. So what we've got is three fourths of a kilogram of candies and six sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. So let's make models for that. Let's suppose that this is a model for one kilogram. Okay, one kilogram of anything, just one kilogram. So since we're going to need to mark candies as well as cookies, how about we copy this kilogram and paste it here. So we have two kgs, one for candies and one for cookies. Okay. All right. So let's say that this is candies and this is cookies. And what we have is three fourths of a kilogram of candies. Now this guy over here, from here to here is one kilogram. Same for this, from here to here is one kilogram. But what we have is we have only three fourths of a kilogram of candies and we have only six sevenths of a kilogram of cookies, right? We don't have a whole kilogram. We have only three fourths and six sevenths of candies and cookies, okay? So let's mark three fourths first. So if this is one kilogram, okay, this whole model over here is one kilogram of candies then uh, three-fourths of that would be this kilogram divided into four equal parts and three of those parts, right? So if this is one kilogram from here to here, then three-fourths of that would be from here to here. It's three of those, right? So this is three-fourths of a kilogram. Now, since this is candies, how about we color them pink? Say this. Okay, so these are your candies. And also, since we don't have this last one, this last block of candies, how about we just put it as doctors just to show that this one is something we don't have. All right. Okay, now we already marked the candies. How about we mark the cookies now? Now, what we have is six sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. Now, six sevenths would mean that we divide the cookies into seven equal parts and six out of those seven parts would be six sevenths of a kilogram of candies because this whole model from here to here is one kilogram then six sevenths would be this guy divided into seven equal parts and six of those parts right so let's do that one two three four five six and seven now, six sevenths, like I said, is six of these, right? So let's put some color. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six of these seven is your six sevenths. Okay, six sevenths of a kilogram. And since we don't have this last one over here, we just put it as dotted. All right, now let's see. What we've got is three-fourths kilogram of candies and six-sevenths of a kilogram of cookies and these are shared equally among three children. Okay, so there are three children and three children get equal shares of three-fourths of a kilogram of candies and six-sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. Then what is the total mass of candies and cookies that each child will get? Well, if there are three children, then it's quite straightforward. Each child will get one of these for candies and uh, since these are six the cookies are six then they'll get two of these right so one child will get two i mean each child will get two of these so child number one gets the first pink block of candies child number two gets the second block and child number three gets the third block whereas for cookies the first child gets these two the second child gets the next two and the third child gets the last two so child number one gets this block, child number two gets this block, and child number three gets this. That's for candies. And child number one gets these two, child number two gets these two, and child number three gets these two for cookies. Now, what we have to find out is how much is the mass of each of these pink blocks and how much is the mass of two of these cookies together. And then we have to add up one pink block to two 
brown blocks because that's how much each child will get. One block of pink candies and two blocks of brown cookies. So let's find out what that's equal to, what each of these is equal to. Well, if you have three-fourths of a kilogram of candies and if you have three children who share these equally among themselves, then each child will obviously get three-fourths of a kilogram divided by three, right? That would be the share of each child. So what is three-fourths of a kilogram divided by three? Well, we learned that in a previous concept video that a fraction divided by a number is nothing but the fraction multiplied by the inverse of the number. Well, this three over here is nothing but three upon one. If you write this as a fraction, it is equal to three upon one. And if you change this division sign to multiplication sign, then you must also invert the fraction that follows it. Okay, the number or the fraction that follows it. So when you invert it, three upon one becomes one upon three. So now all you have to do is you have to multiply three fourths by one third. So you multiply that and let's see what you get. Well, what you get is the threes get cancelled out. You get one here and one here. Now you simply multiply. This one times this one is equal to one upon this four times this one is four. And that gives you one fourth of a kilogram. So each child gets one fourth of a kilogram of candies. So this is equal to one fourth of a kilogram. How about the cookies? Well, this is for candies, right? So this is candies. How about cookies? Well, let's find out. So let's see. Well, there is six sevenths of a kilogram of cookies and those have to be divided among three children. So each child will get six sevenths of a kilogram multiplied by one third. And that's equal to, well, let's see, that's equal to, let's simplify this, six and three when simplified give you two here and one here. And that's equal to two times one is two and seven times one is seven. So each child gets two sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. So these two brown units, which is the share of one child, is equal to two sevenths of a kilogram. Okay, so what you have is two sevenths of a kilogram of cookies for each child and one fourth of a kilogram of candies for each child. Now, this was using the division method. Okay, so let's call it method number one. The other method would be, let's see, if I clear this space over here, the other method would be using the unit method. Okay, now we know that three units are equal to three fourths of a kilogram, right? So three units are equal to three fourths of a kilogram. Then how much would one unit be equal to? Well, one unit would be equal to three fourths of a kilogram divided by three, which is the same as what we did before. Three fourths of a kilogram multiplied by one upon three, right? If you change this division sign to multiplication, then you must invert this three to one upon three. And then you cancel out the three and the three. And what you get is you get one fourth of a kilogram. And since one unit is the share of one child, this one fourth kilogram is equal to this one pink block over here, which is exactly what we got here, right? From the first method. Okay. How about the cookies? Well, that was for candies. So we write down candies here. How about cookies? Cookies, let's see. Cookies is six units, right? Six because one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six units are equal to six sevenths of a kilogram. Okay, then how much would one unit be equal to? Well, one unit would be equal to six sevenths of a kilogram divided by six, which is equal to six sevenths of a kilogram multiplied by one upon six. So the six and the six get cancelled out, and what you get is one unit. Okay, one unit is equal to one seventh of a kilogram. Well, that's one unit, okay? But the share of each child is two units, right? Now, how much is two units equal to then? Two units would be equal to one seventh of a kilogram multiplied by two, and that's two sevenths of a kilogram. So each child gets two sevenths of a kilogram, which is the same as what we got here using the first method. So each child gets two sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. Okay, fine. So, so far, so good. So far, what we found is that each child will get 
one fourth of a kilogram of candies and two sevenths of a kilogram of cookies. But what we have to find out is the total mass of candies and cookies that each child will get. It's very simple. All we have to do is add up the share of candies and cookies for each child. Now let's clear some space over here. Okay, so candies plus cookies is one fourth of a kilogram plus two sevenths of a kilogram. The first one is each child's share of candies and the second one is each child's share of cookies. Okay, now what is the sum of these two? Well, the sum of these two would be possible if we change each of these to a common denominator, right? Because these two denominators are different, so we cannot add them like this. We must find out a common denominator for these two. Now, off the top of my head, the common denominator would be 4 times 7, which is 28. Now, to get something upon 28 for the fraction 1 upon 4, you must multiply 4 by 7. So, you must also multiply the numerator by 7, right? When you multiply the denominator by 7, you got 28. So, you must also multiply the numerator by 7. And when you do that, you get 1 times 7 as 7. So, 7 upon 28 kilogram is the equivalent of 1 upon 4 kilogram. How about the second guy here? Well, it will obviously have the denominator as 28 because we just figured out that the common denominator or the least common multiple of 4 and 7 is 28. So now what we have is when we multiply 7 by 4, we get 28. So we must also multiply the numerator by 4. And when you do that, what you get is 2 times 4 is 8. So you have to add now 7 28 of a kilogram to 8 28 of a kilogram. Now that's simple. You have 28 here for the bottom number. Then you add 7 to 8. And what you get is 7 plus 8 is 15. So it's 15 upon 28 of a kilogram. So that's your answer. But what do you have to do? Well, you have to find or give the answer as a decimal. Okay. So what we have to do is convert this fraction 15 upon 28 of a kilogram to decimal. Now we know that a fraction is nothing but the numerator divided by the denominator and that will give us the answer in decimal so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to use the calculator so 15 divided by 28 well, that's 0 0.53571 okay let's write that down 0 0.53571 of a kilogram but we have to round off our answer to two decimal places which means we only care up to the hundredths place, right? The two places after the decimal point. This is the decimal point, and this is the first place, and this is the second place. Now, to round it off to two decimal places, we must see what the digit in the third place is. Since it's five, so we round up the decimal number, and what you get after rounding off is you get 0 0.54 of a kilogram. So the total mass of candies and cookies that each child gets is equal to 15 28 of a kilogram, okay? This fraction over here, which in decimal format, rounded off to two decimal places, is equal to 0 0.54 kilograms. Well, that brings us to the end of this word problem, and I hope you understood this word problem. Next, please go and check out some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because it makes you perfect. You can also check out how good you're getting at math at this website and also do check out some of the very, very cool features that we have added. All right, this is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.